Hello everyone. In this video, we will take a look at the Simplex 4005 Fire Alarm Control Panel. First produced in 1994, the 4005 is a large conventional system designed for mid-sized facilities. Much like its predecessor, the 4002, the 4005 has a modular design allowing the Fire Alarm system to be expanded and modified easily wherever necessary. The 4005 also inherits more advanced features seen in higher-end simplex panels like the 4100 series, including an LCD screen and custom logic equations. So let's jump right into this. For the demo system, we have three initiating devices and four signals. At the front left side, we have a 2098-9201 smoke detector. To the front right, a 4098-9408 heat detector. And in the back center, a 2099-9754 pole station. For signals, we have a mix of 4903 and 4904 series devices. On the left, we have a 4904-9137 remote strobe and a 4903-9219 horn strobe. On the right, we have a 4903-9105 strobe plate with a 4901-9805 horn and a 4903-9101 strobe plate with a 2901-9838 horn. The 4005 is programmed for selective signaling by zone. Each initiating device is connected to its own zone on the panel. When the smoke detector activates, the signals to the left of the pole station will sound in temporal coding. When the heat detector activates, the signals to the right of the pole will sound in march time. There's also a 2098-9806 remote test station near the panel to demonstrate the supervisory condition. So here we go. Like most modern simplex panels, a system reset takes a while to clear, although the 4005 is particularly notable for its long delay. While we wait for the reset to finish, it should be noted that the 4005 and other panels from this time period and beyond will abort the system reset if a device is still in alarm. The 4005 is also capable of resounding signals if the same zone is activated again in a subsequent alarm. These are features that older panels like the 4002 do not have. Now that the reset is complete, let's take a look at the panel layout. The 4005 back box measures 22.5 inches wide and 23 inches tall. It's much larger than small panels like the 4004, but it's much smaller than larger simplex panels like the 4100 Plus. At the center of the back box is the CPU board. This is where the panel's configuration is stored, along with the keypad and LCD screen. At the top left is an RS-232 port for a PC connection. The PC interface mimics the keypad and LCD screen. There are terminals for the external RUI, or remote user interface, and resettable power for four wire detectors. 
Serial and non-seriators like the 4602 series will connect to the CPU via the RUI terminals. Below the CPU card, there is a slot for a DACT communicator or two city circuit modules. The main power supply is mounted on the bottom right side behind the modules. It connects to a power distribution board where the modules will be inserted. In addition to providing power for the modules and the CPU, there are two auxiliary power taps on the board, providing constant 24 volts for external peripherals like annunciators. This Verizon 5 is filled to the maximum capacity of 10 cards. There are five types of cards that can be used on the Verizon 5. These include two types of zone cards, low current and high current. Both cards provide four zones each. The low current zone card can handle up to 20 detectors per zone, while the high current card can hold up to 30. This high current zone card is also required for detectors with relay bases and was included in the 4002 to 4005 retrofit kit. The NAC relay card provides four outputs, configured as either NACs or relays. A combination card contains two zones and two NAC relays. Each of the previous cards explained will also accept a Class A adapter. Lastly, an 8IO card can be used for various appliances, such as the 4601 series LED annunciator. A standard 4005 included two zone cards, a NAC relay card, and two spare slots on the right side of the back box. The layout can be expanded to five more slots on the left side of the panel. An expansion power supply will be mounted on the bottom left, along with an additional power distribution board. The 4005 can support a maximum of 36 zones or 38 NAC relays. Unlike older panels, the 4005 is programmed via the main keypad. I won't go into programming in this video, but many features like walk test and configuration of enunciators, modules, and custom equations are located here. The 4005 does not require external software to program, as seen in higher end panels, but these features are passcode protected. And that's it. The 4005 is my personal favorite simplex panel. Conventional panels are somewhat easier to work with than addressable, and the 4005 incorporates many features seen on larger high end panels, such as custom control. Most conveniently, everything can be programmed from the keypad without an external programmer, making the panel highly accessible, as long as the level 4 passcode is known. The 4005 would spend nearly 20 years in service, being phased out around 2014 with the release of the 4007ES. I would highly recommend the 4005 to anyone interested in a panel that has more features and flexibility, while also being easy to configure without special software. If you have any questions or comments about the 4005, feel free to post them below. But until next time, have a nice day.